Here, we have three masses placed on a frictionless surface and pushed by a force while they are in contact. We need to find the acceleration of these masses and the force of contact between mass 1 and 2 and that between mass 2 and 3. Let us plan the strategy for solution. First of all, since all the masses are in contact, their accelerations will be equal. Number 2, contact force is an internal force to this system. So if we want to reach this force, we must first expose it by cutting open the system, by separating its parts and plotting what are called as the free body diagrams. Number three, these free body diagrams would help us form equations of the form F is equal to MA using Newton's second law. But since there are several free body diagrams possible, we should be careful about selecting those which are convenient, where the number of unknowns is less, preferably just one. And finally, the contact force between two bodies is a pair of action-reaction forces, which are equal, opposite, and they act on two different bodies. Let us now start with the force analysis. First, we start by considering the entire system. So this given force is known and the acceleration of the entire system can be found. Here we have shown only the horizontal forces because we don't see any motion or acceleration in the vertical direction. So vertical forces like weight and normal reaction must be balanced. If we plot the free body diagram of the first mass, we will get an additional force coming from the second mass and the acceleration will be the same as the acceleration of the entire system. The free body diagram of the second mass would show two forces, one coming from mass 3 and the other coming from mass 1. And of course it will share the acceleration with the rest of the masses. And finally the free body diagram of the third mass would have only one unknown force coming from body 2 and its acceleration will be same like all other masses. If we take stock of the unknowns shown by red in these force diagrams, then we would see uh, in the gross diagram there is only one unknown, over here there are two, over here there are three and here there are two. So by far this is the best place to start solving the problem. So we start with the force analysis of the entire system, this cross system diagram and apply Newton's second law F is equal to MA where F is the net force M is the mass of the system which will be the sum of the three masses M1 plus M2 plus M3 and then A will be the only unknown. We substitute numerical values and solve and to get the system acceleration to be 2 meters per second square. Having found the system acceleration makes the first free body diagram attractive because now this acceleration is not unknown anymore. So we have only one unknown and we can solve for it using Newton's second law again F is equal to MA. We substitute the net force as the force given to us 20 Newtons on the system minus the force coming from a body 2 in the opposite direction. That will be causing the acceleration which is now known. So the only unknown is F 2 1 force coming from body 2 on body 1 and we can solve numerically to get this force to be 10 newtons. Finally, we have a choice of two force diagrams, free body diagram of mass 2 or free body diagram of mass 3. Now that we have found the acceleration of the system and the contact force between bodies 1 and 2, each one is left with only one unknown. So both will give us equations with one unknown. But let us go ahead and select this free body diagram because it has fewer forces and therefore the equation it gives will have fewer terms. So less chance of committing an error. So we apply Newton's second law to mass 3. The only unknown here is F23. So we substitute numerical values and solve for F23 to get 4 Newtons as the answer. Finally, as an exercise, here is a variation of the same problem. So the same three masses are given, but this time they are connected by these two pieces of string and they are pulled by the same force 
and we are supposed to find the tensions.